Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is stirring up excitement in the tech world, especially with the latest leaks and rumors that have surfaced. If you've been following the buzz around this upcoming foldable device, you've likely heard whispers that it might skip S Pen support to cut production costs. But hold on, new information from display expert at DSCC Ross on X, formerly Twitter, suggests a different story, and it's one that S Pen enthusiasts will be thrilled about. Initially, reports indicated that the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition would forego S Pen support, a move that seemed aimed at reducing production expenses. This decision left many fans disappointed, as the S Pen has become an iconic feature in Samsung's lineup of premium devices. However, the latest insights shared by Ross Young suggest that Samsung isn't abandoning the S Pen just yet. Instead, the company appears to be rethinking how it can offer S Pen functionality without the traditional components that usually make it work. To understand the significance of this shift, let's break down how S Pen support typically works. Devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 use an active stylus method, where the S Pen is equipped with its own power source. This stylus interacts with a digitizer embedded within the screen, allowing for precise input and advanced features. Essentially, the digitizer acts as a bridge between the S Pen and the display, enabling functionalities like pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. On the other hand, more affordable Galaxy tablets, such as the Fan Edition models, utilize a passive stylus. This type of stylus doesn't require a built-in power source and mimics the actions of your fingertip. It works with almost any touchscreen without needing a digitizer. However, the experience with a passive stylus is far more basic, lacking the sophisticated features that active styluses offer. Now Samsung's challenge with the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is to support the S Pen while eliminating the need for a digitizer. This move is reportedly driven by a desire to reduce both the device's thickness and its production costs. But here's where it gets interesting. Ross Young hints that Samsung won't simply opt for a passive stylus. Instead, the company is exploring a new method to make the S Pen work without compromising on the device's slim profile or its advanced features. While details remain scarce, the idea of Samsung developing a novel approach to S Pen functionality is intriguing. Could this mean a hybrid technology that bridges the gap between active and passive styluses? Or perhaps Samsung is working on a completely new form of touch interaction that doesn't rely on traditional digitizer technology. Whatever the case, this innovation could set a new standard for foldable devices and stylus integration. One possibility is that Samsung might employ a software-based solution, enhancing the screen's ability to detect and differentiate S Pen inputs without needing a dedicated digitizer. This approach would leverage AI and machine learning algorithms to replicate the precision and responsiveness of an active stylus. The need for a digitizer while maintaining the advanced features of an active stylus, it could revolutionize how we interact with foldable devices. For now, all eyes are on Samsung as we await more details on this special edition foldable. Will it live up to the hype? And how will Samsung's innovative approach to the S Pen impact the future of foldables? One thing is for sure, the tech world is eagerly watching. We can't wait to see what Samsung has in store. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 
complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.